hit my people. Um, I finally found the gin by Australian Distilling Co. Um, having followed them for long enough on um, Instagram, and it's their Melbourne gin. Um, I'll try a bit of this. It's a dry gin. And out of the back of it says a perfectly blend of pride and affection and yada yada yada. Melbourne gin, local botanicals such as <clears throat> Melbourne pepper, boldly mingle with hints of ginger, citrus and star anise. In honor of the good things in life, a discerning gin for a vibrant city. Yeah, okay, I've lived here for 39 years, which is two thirds of my life. So, there is no sound of happiness. Screw it up. Um, it's 42-43%. The room in which I am reviewing this is relatively warm. Um, I want to buy shares in uh, Test Medica 3, is that okay? Um, Pepper Booby, there's a shit ton of it being used in Australian distilling at the moment. It's for the smell of happiness. Okay, I'm going to say there is none, but I've just sipped some and I don't know how much of that. There's, I'm getting the um, anise. Okay. It's the star niche that's coming forward. It's about 20 odd degrees in the room I'm in. My studio slave office is western facing and gets the afternoon sun. So. Yeah. Citrus, yep. The sirenese is certainly there. Neat. Let's go and see what this sucker works like in a um, GNT. So I've just gone out, grabbed myself a couple of large ice cubes. Closing that door. Offspring, I'm not yet asleep. So I'm going to add a healthy measure. Um, and basically let it sit for a while. Now I must admit, I got this wonderful dry gin because this is destined for a nimble pani, which is an Indian cocktail. Yeah, it's equal parts um, simple syrup with equal parts lemon juice. You um, add your dry gin um, and then you add um, this wonderful stuff, Fever Tree Mediterranean, and you have a um, lemonade for mum and dad. Nimbu is Hindi for lemon, pani, water. So the Indians won't quite sell you um, lemonade, but they'll do a sell you lemon water. And I assure you, um, when last time I made this up, nimble pani up with a um, dry gin. Oh, I'll just say this magician to my house because it damn well disappeared on me. So I'm just, just quietly staking this away. So a nice dry gin, basis for all sorts of wickedness and um, cocktails. Um, the, it doesn't really need much explanation as to why this has won a shit ton of awards. Um, what is it? Australian Gin Awards, Gold 2020, Gold, um, Tastings Australia 2020, World Spirits Awards, Gold 2020, and SIP Awards 2020, and surprising, surprising, it's a gold. So yeah, I found this at Dan Murphy's. It's about 70 bucks a head or a bit more. The um, thing will write, the link will be in the um, write up. Oh yeah, this will just make a lethal um, then we'll probably assure you. What will I drink it with? I drink it with a um, sophisticated company, not me. Oh, I'm not sophisticated at all. Just half my ex life. Um, look, this is just the sort of drink that I wouldn't drink it with anything, okay? I would just drink it for the sheer pleasure of drinking a great gin. It's as simple as that. Um, not terribly complicated. 40%, um, it's proof. It's not going to give you a nasty hangover. Um, I'm not thinking of a food. 
Bear in mind, I'm vegetarian, haven't been for 18 months now. Not vegan because I haven't told you that yet. Um, yeah. A GNT with this or a cocktail with this is just going to be the perfect end of the day. Take a, one of these. Let's say it with me, people. Ah, fuck. That's what I take it with. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like, share. Have fun. Drink. Don't drink more. Drink better.